My name is Rashleen and I have just completed my graduation and now I will I have present, uh, presented myself uh, in the uh, previous uh, like presentation I have sent you and the presentation is about cabin crew services as uh, I want to tell you about this because I uh, there are so many people uh, in relation to me are in this line and it's not that easy to get in the cabin crew services it's a very underrated profession uh, well now after so many years of hard work now it's a very uh, difficult profession as well as uh, it's not the easy job that you just need, don't need to fly and travel you need to be uh, careful with yourself and the other passengers so now i will share and let's give you a basic surprise about cabin crew so yes So it's cabin crew. Before knowing the job description, we should all know that what is cabin crew. So yes, cabin crew consists of flight attendants carry out the instructions given by pilots and co-pilots outside the cockpit. They are in charge of the safety and comfort of passengers on a flight and they inform the passengers when necessary. They are the people on the on their shoulder the whole airline's reputation and brand image depends if a cabin crew is not uh, good and not uh, have like a negative attitude or uh, any other uh, disturbance then it will create a huge impact on the brand image and the aircraft itself so let's start. Uh, male flight attendants are called hosts and uh, st uh, flight stewards, while female ones are referred to as air hostess, which are very common. What is the difference between cabin crew and air hostess? There's always a question that if you want air hostess or cabin crew services, they, this is a very general question. There is no difference between both the profiles. They are simply two different words used to define the same job profile. And air hostess or cabin crew is tasked with looking after passengers on an aircraft, it's similar as to comfort the if, uh, people on the aircraft. Yes. Working as a cabin crew is an inspiring choice as it's also a difficult one that you don't know when you will return and in what condition you will return so yes and for the cabin crew jobs you need to know the requirements, responsibilities, duties that you need to do and you required. So first is minimum qualification should be 12 but which is mandatory. Age 18 plus should be mandatory and the maximum age should uh, depend on the airlines. So it may be 25 to 27. Uh, female flight attendants need to be at least 5, in, five feet 3 inches to 6 feet 3 inches in height and weight 50 8 to 70 kg. Well it's a uh, uh, common or uh, height and weight which is depend or uh, which is i got to know because the airlines differ this to from 50 to 70 kg or from 5 feet to 6 feet so it depends on the airline but you need to check with the airline which you are applying male flight events need to be 5 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 3 inches in height and weight 68 to 82 kg most cars and tattoo are visible on face, hands, and arms, which is very mandatory if you are applying for this job. Basic skills in MS office, to, that is not that you have to do uh, work in the MS office, but you need to be, have that skills, communication skills, and the need to be presentable. Customer-oriented approach, clean professional appearance and healthy constitution, exceptional communication and presentation skills, cool temper and patient with aptitude, in resolving issues you have to be a positive attitude your negative attitude will not work cabin crew certification i'm training that is uh, optional you will get training before uh, on the job uh, before on work for it. full temper and patient with attitude in resolving issues cabin uh, proven experience as cabin crew or related customer service experience that will help 
Cabin crew lifestyle is more than a fascinating travel adventure. As we all know that cabin crew is just not for travel. There are a lot of responsibilities they carry and the duties they need to do. Duties of cabin crew. I understand the duties of your assigned position during flight and at your rest. You need to know what position you are doing or you are and what are your duties. Ensure the satisfaction of passengers by answering questions and offering them assistance. Check cabin before takeoff to ensure compliance to safety regulations. Welcome travelers on board help them to their seats when necessary. Serve food and beverages and sell products. Give the safety presentation in, well, in a well-prepared manner. Monitor the cabin, uh, cabin frequently for the entire duration of the flight. You need to be active by in the flight. Remain calm and offer services to the passengers in the event of an emergency. Give particular attention to passengers, especially children, disabled, etc. Prepare accurate reports concerning any significant issues or happening. And what is the dress code? And it's also for the interview if you are going, you need to be properly dressed up according to their so it's for girls, it should be full makeup on face and the dress code is business attire, mini skirt with your professional shirt and with the shoes, not much high heels and not too short. It should be comfortable and face with boys for boys, face clean shaven, dress code, smart, business suit attire and shoes. So, question related uh, occurs for cabin crew jobs are, is swimming necessary for cabin crew? Well, it's not necessary, but before uh, before they board, uh, they need to learn uh, swimming before they board their first flight. Also, at the time of training, cabin crew uh, doesn't provide any uh, swimming training, but there are other uh, sites and uh, offices where you can learn swimming but it is required for you to learn before you are, uh, go on board your first flight. Cabin crew job profile is not easy as it requires a lot of and have a Never good communication skill. It is underrated job. Cabin crew members are not there just to serve food and beverages to passengers, but their primary choice is to tackle emergency situations and ensure safety and security of passengers in the aircraft. As I have already mentioned this, that it is not easy as we think. So yes, uh, do airlines hire married candidates? Which it's only depending on the airline. Some airlines have clauses wherein where only unmarried candidates with no children are eligible to apply for a cabin uh, crew post, but there are not any written rules regarding this. If you have a good looks and experience, you may have chance to apply. Benefits of cabin crew. Well, uh, it's not just one box I can elaborate, but that is you that the greatest perk of the job is being able to travel the world. There are other unknown benefits that makes being one world. You can uh, get benefit for your family as well and yourself as well for the terms of travel or the health insurance and other services. So the question arises: how to apply for cabin crew? Well, there are different but before applying, you should uh, check with all the requirements and the rules and regulations for the airline which you have applying or for the any other airport jobs, any cabin crew related jobs. So you can apply directly on the airline site through institutes if you are like Frankfurt or the institutes, job sites, walking interviews, but I must uh, ensure that uh, before applying from the job site, you should must check with the airline site, original airline site that they have any opening or not because any airline doesn't charge any uh, payment for uh, hiring and recruitment. So yes, and if you are eligible or for all the after reading all the requirements, you may uh, register yourself. Time duration. The maximum duty hours that can be 
undertaken by characteristics by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation DGCA. The maximum duty period is 22 hours in long haul flights. As per DGCA, cabin crew shall not undertake any duty between 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. local time for two consecutive nights, except once within a period of 168 hours, that is seven consecutive days. So let's start with the interview that, how to prepare for cabin crew interview. Know about the job first. If you're applying, applying for any job, you should know the profile and the job and the company. Fine. Talk to the ones working in a similar field. Fluency is must. Multitasking is another quality. Be friendly, hostile, and help at the helpful at the same time. Ready to extend the help. Helping nature is must if you are preparing for cabin crew. And in, it's not that you are just have to interview yourself in the room. They will watch you every time if you are in their office or maybe sometimes up, uh, outside the office to make sure that you are really eligible for that job. Your body language speaks all about you. How many rounds of interval? It differs from airline to airline. However, four rounds can be done including personal interview, group discussion, written grammar and English test, which is to know your communication skills well enough to handle and written uh, writing in the situation. Scar check, as I have already mentioned, they, uh, they is must that you don't have any scar or tattoo on any visible part of your body. Then how much you will get? It's the last and the basic point for cabin crew services that if we are applying. Depends on the airline and experience. If you have experience five years, your uh, salary will depend on that. But minimum I can say is 32,000 uh, starting and it can go around in like 80 to 90,000 based on your performance experience and the, your skills. So thank you.